Veloverse command is debated heavily on social media, to say the least. And I think it's a really important topic that we need to br bring clarity to. Um, you know, it's not a one side or the other. Like, they're both important. And I think the fact that we're arguing back and forth is only causing harm to our players because our players are going to be seeing everything that's posted on social media, right? Like, they're following coaches. They're on Twitter. They're on Instagram. Like, they see everything that is talked about. And when there's so much chaos going on within that, it makes it really hard for a player to know, like, what direction do I go in? And, you know, and it can be, you can be persuaded either way. Like, imagine being, you know, an 18 or 19 year old kid or even younger, you know, who's trying to make progress. And like, he feels like he's being pulled in different directions. He's not sure what to believe. He's not sure what's most important. And, you know, I think this is a really important topic, you know, to, to really help our players. Because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Like, everything we do should be about the players and about getting them better. If it's not, then it starts to become about us, and that's when we start to lose our players, and we really start to sacrifice those relationships, and it becomes all about me, which, as we know, that doesn't turn out well. Um, at the end of the day, this is about players, and it's about serving them, and the better we can do that, the better we're going to be as coaches. And so to get back to this velo versus command and how we go about it, and really how I think about it is, we need to understand, okay, where is the player currently at on that spectrum uh, skill level at his current competition? So if he's at the high school level, let's compare him to, you know, what it, where does his velo rank compared to a high schooler? And then command, you know, like, really, this is kind of hard. You're going to have to look at, you know, probably walks in the league just to kind of have an idea. Or you're just going to go with, like, your general sense of, you know, this guy, he has pretty good command for a 16-year-old, for example. And then the second thing we got to do is we got to uh, understand where does this player want to go? What, what are his goals? Is he trying to play college baseball? Is he trying to play professional baseball? You know, like understanding what his goals are is going to uh, be really important for us to, you know, to really program, you know, what's most important to him. If the kid only cares about high school baseball, you know, he just wants to, you know, have fun and, you know, and just enjoy that time, then maybe our process is a little bit different. But understanding the current skill set of your player and where he wants to go is going to be really important. Then the other part of this is going to be the time of year. If we're in season, like our mode is going to be more focused on getting guys out, you know, having more game-like environments in our bullpen sessions. You know, we're not going to really be in a velocity phase per se. Now, that doesn't mean that we can't increase velocity in season, but it just means that our focus needs to be more on executing pitches and getting guys out because that's what we have to focus on in that moment. Now, after the spring season, say summertime, if a guy's not playing in a summer league, I think that's a great opportunity to focus on velocity training. And, you know, and since I'm talking about the summer, I'm talking more from the high school or college perspective than the professional level. And, you know, the, the summer is a great opportunity, you know, if you're not playing games to dedicate that time to adding velocity, you know, whether it's through a weighted ball program, really focusing in the weight room on getting stronger. Like, it's just a great opportunity to focus on that. So, like, because the season's so far away and, you know, you have months on end to really focus on your training, you know, maybe the command, not that, not that it takes a back seat, but the priority can be more on the velocity enhancement and like really just building the engine. And then as we get closer to the season, then we might start to shift our focus more to the command. And I, I think that's what's really important is like you need to understand the time frame you're in. And I think guys that are like all velocity, um, they don't dedicate any time to the command training. And then they get in season and they're throwing harder, but they have no idea where the ball's going. And as we know, like if you're a high school or college coach or professional coach, like it doesn't matter what level you're at. You want guys that are going to get guys out and guys that are going to throw strikes. And, you know, you know, at a college level, like you, you know, you'll recruit guys that throw harder and like that, those guys will get opportunities. They get opportunities at every level. But at the end of the day, if you're not getting guys out, if you're not throwing strikes, a coach isn't going to have confidence to put you in the game. So it's safe to say that like the command is extremely important. Like you can't be walking the house and expect to pitch. So we, we need to just understand the time of the year and be able to prioritize what is most important right now. Do I need to focus on my velocity or do I need to focus on my command? And a lot of times there's going to be a hybrid version, right? Like if you're in a velocity phase, you're not throwing high intensity every single day. Like you're going to have those moderate intensity days. And those are great days to where maybe you play a little command game with your partner and you're playing catch. Like there still can be focus on command no matter what phase you're in. Like I'm not under the impression that like you have to do strictly velocity stuff the entire time. Like just because I'm doing velocity training doesn't mean I'm not focusing on my command as well. And I'm not saying that guys don't, because I think a lot of guys do, actually, when they're in a velocity phase, they don't worry about their command, and their command suffers as a result of it. But I, I don't think it has to be a one or the other. I think they both work together. And as you, you know, start to understand your players better, understand their goals, and know where their current skill set is, you're going to be able to program more effectively and ultimately make them a better pitcher that throws harder and also has more command.